music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. I will back to you. you yes. Know. Yes. Yeah, back yeah. to you. So what would you say is the most challenging thing about being, apart from money? Mm. Apart from money, because I know everybody will say it's money. <laughs> apart from money, what would you say is the most challenging thing about being a... An independent uh, artist. An independent artist. Um, time and consistency. If you don't, you know, tr- dedicate a little bit of time to what you're passionate about, you're not going to grow. Mm. And or for the most part, too, if you're not consistent, if you're not consistent, you definitely see no growth. And at some time, uh, so, at some time, you notice your passion waning, like disappearing. Yeah. With time, you just say, oh, it's one of those things. And then you start calling it a hobby. <laughs> and then you notice that it's really no longer there. At, mm. You know, at another you say you're chasing busy chasing money yeah but that and then you asked before we went on break if at some point it's actually dawned on me that i, I might just win this competition yes. yes yeah because i believe uh, strongly in the you know positive affirmations for yourself mm-hmm. so at some point i kept telling myself that i deserved to win and i was going to win you know <laughs> but it also doesn't mean that when it happened i wasn't shocked and (laughs) very excited but at some point even with all the humbling i also noticed it was actually well deserved (laughs) (laughs) i like that it was actually well deserved what you got you got and you know sometimes it's okay really to say you know i'm a king it's yes. okay to say I'm a queen. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, know, you really got to tell you that, you know, yourself that, you know, from time to time. So, you know, Very I get off of I'm with you. But then, like, there's something unique about you. If you, uh, anybody listens to your sound, uh, there's this global appeal that your music mm, has. Thank you. Yeah, for real. Because, you know, you you tend not to box yourself into a particular genre. Sound. You know, a, a particular sound, a particular genre. You're just singing apparently and clearly from your spirit and from your soul. Um, so, for you, like, um, who influences your music? You know, you, people who basically want to trace that dot and say the way she sound who are the people that kind of inf- influence her music you know yeah yeah gr- growing up i listened to a lot of whitney uh Celine Dion, brenda fasse mm-hmm. uh, angeli kijo and a whole lot of people um there was also james brown there was um uh our kelly oh, okay. frank uh, <laughs> kirk franklin tasha cobbs i listened to a lot of people mm. gospel pop and my mom too loved music so much she loves music so uh-huh. much my dad loved or she loves music so much <laughs> so th- it was a house of um soul songs mm. you you and nobody's going to hold you back from listening to anything except yeah, you know, of you course you're watching it and there's a little bit of nudity <laughs> no, and like then you have your ass sharply <laughs> like we, we will change that channel okay. right now. So this is what you want. This is what you, is, you, is you have. You done your assignments. <laughs> you you want to be wayward in life. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the biggest challenge for you, like you know, till date, like um, not not being like you know a conformist. Uh, that's um, the word I'm looking for. Not being a, you know a, a genre conformist mm. or a sound conformist till date. What do you think? You know, has been the biggest challenge that you faced? You know, in that regard. I think that you just mentioned it. That is actually the biggest challenge. Not holding yourself back from saying, "Oh, this is my song. I've curated it to be my sound. I've identified with the sound, and I'm, I'm going to stick with it." Mm-hmm. And then that is the resultant effect. You know, uh, what's the biggest resultant effect? You know, uh, good and bad. Um, the good part is a l- different. They have different audience for different sounds. Mm-hmm. I have people who say, "Oh, this is your song for me." Oh, this is your song for me. And then, and at some point when they all come together to listen to me do the songs mm-hmm. individually, they're like, "Oh, she has been able to immerse herself in mm-hmm. this sound, and you own it, whichever yeah. one she is doing." Although we feel that this is the one for her, and then the other people are saying, "I feel this is the one for her." I feel, mm-hmm. and well, it's all just a, 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 an infusion of the good, the bad, you know, the beautiful. Because <laughs> some people say, you know, and I'm living with it. They say, you know, you, uh, it's not commercial music. Because you know, when I when I asked, you know, the bad, I went to, you know, uh, just peep into your head and peep into and your memory. And see when I wanted to go if, over if the street, the, I feel. you know, you know, <laughs> because you probably, you know, <laughs> yes. have had experiences where people say, you know, make you know something commercial. Yes, you know, commercial. I, I, I've so overgrown that. <laughs> 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 yes, it, it's, I've so overgrown. You know, trying to. Follow 
dodge that part or trying to force it on mm. me because mm. you hear a lot of people saying oh maybe you should do this you know the street appeal that is the main thing oh yeah. no oh no the main thing is breaking into the media industry and having the song shoved down people's throats yeah. Yeah. because right. yeah at the end of the day whatever you do if you have the market at your fingertip you're going to you're absolutely going to blow it, absolutely so. <laughs> music for lagos 102.3 max fm